What's going on people, it's your man the YB, back once again. So yesterday we leaked John Fury airing out Tony Ballou. Today we're going to get to Tony Ballou's reaction. Let's go through the, let's recap the John Fury quotes here. Here we go people, stop it. See, you say, you say, what do you think we'll just stand there with our fingers in our mouth, not doing nothing? I'm full of testosterone, man. I'm ready to go 24 hours a day from my boot to the top of my head. That's what I want to do. I want to get in and stuck in. Bip, 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 bip. Eh? They say that maybe Tyson's uh, not good with small movers. Do you agree with that? Yeah, That's something that Tony Bell, you said, you know? Yeah, you see Tony Bell, he'll get a neck butt like he's just got to come through me. Very bizarre. Uh, let's get the thoughts of the man himself, <laughs> our friend, the wonderful Tony Belly. Oh man, before we go on to Tony Ballou's reaction, yeah, you have to say that John's. If John meant anything he was saying, yeah, it'd be legitimate, yeah. If John didn't only execute the things he says on the people who are victims, that dude, fifteen year old, he ain't hundred percent, hundred percent. Not even one year is he close to twenty. That kid was 20, 15 year old tops maximum. Absolute oldest he could be is 15. Not a lick of facial hair. 15 year old. 15 year old, 10 stone soaking wet. 15 year old, 10 stone soaking wet. And no more than 5 foot 4 tall. 5 foot 4 tall. Yeah? Those are the kind of. The requirements, the prerequisite circumstances a man needs to have for John to feel this way. To give out good bars and back them up. Because if your name's Mickey Theo, 200 pounds plus, yeah, not five foot four, not, my other one was it, five foot tall, not 15 year old, yeah, John don't want to fight men, he wants to fight children, that's what we saw here, he picked out, oh that guy's not even an adult yet, I love him, I'll be hard with him, my testosterone will get a boost up with him, John where are your testosterone? When Joe Egan on your ass, we don't know. Where the testosterone when Mickey Theo on your ass, we don't know. Anyway, this weren't even supposed to be one of them. Let's get to Tony Ballou's reaction. Hello, Tony. Hello, lads. And hello to Gachi, man, listening to us now. Uh, I don't know why my name being mentioned there. And listen, mate, no one's going to airport me, full stop. But I don't know why my name's being mentioned there. Why, what, what was the question he got asked for? What did he say? I think he was asking questions about how the fight will go, and then he was saying that you said it will go a certain way. Yeah, I found maybe predictions. That's what I'm paid to do. I'm a paid analyst, live on the zone. Uh, and I'll make whatever prediction I want. I don't fear no man, mate, and no man's going to put it on me. We understand this. For every action, there's a reaction. And, you know, it was very bizarre watching that yesterday, to be honest, because there's one guy going head to head with him who's the same size as him, and he's rubbing his head back. He didn't feel the need to headbutt him, but he felt the need to headbutt the small child. And child. And we've lost the whole group. People. Tony Bellew is a sporting official. Yeah, he ain't going to tell you it's a child if it's not a child. That guy, all this fake news coming out right now. I believe the Sheikh, Turkey Sheikh Salomon, Prince Salomon. He putting out the news now. Oh, he's 30 year old kind of thing. To, to, trying to spin the narrative. Oh, it was a man. Stop. What man do you know? He's 10 stone soaking wet. And five foot four tall. Very rare, right? They exist, of course. Yeah. But very rare. If you go to the town, yeah, you'll be struggling to find an alleged 30 year old man. There's nothing wrong with that. Someone gotta be five foot four tall. Yeah? Some like hundred percent. It's not I'm not knocking people who are five foot four tall, but the fact is, if you went out to on average day, out shopping somewhere, you'd struggle to find a ten stone man soaking wet, five foot four. And 30 years old. Yeah? They don't, extremely rare slash don't exist. This guy was 15 years old. Is 15 years old. Don't believe all the fake news narrative. Oh, he's 30. Okay. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> and I'm white. <laughs> you know what's there? 100%. Stop lying. Turkey, stop putting out, stop trying to shield for this guy. Just come out and say, listen, John ain't going to jail. Yeah? He assault with a 15 year old, 10 stone, 5 foot 4 dude. And that is what it is. He with us. He with the ruling cabal so we do what we want yeah it's one rule for you man another rule for people who are the team john with us we don't go jail they don't go jail fact no one from them that clan go jail they be doing the most crime so that's what needs to be said here nothing to do if he 30 years old he a man he 15 tony Ballou told you tony Ballou told you he 15 it's a child the smallest child john fury picked on fact oops yeah 
which I found quite disturbing to be honest. But this, that's leave him to do what he wants to do. One thing I will say is his son Shane, his, his other sons, absolute diamonds, gentlemen, carry themselves like proper men, mate. They really do. And they, they... So I disagree with this. Yeah, if anyone's seen our. Um... Tony Ballou must have seen the video because he knows the guy's 15 years old. He knows the guy's 5 foot 4. He knows the guy 10 stones working wet. So, to watch that video of Shane, which we covered in my video, no one can sit here and say Shane's a respectable dude. There was nothing respectable about that. Yeah, nothing respectable. People are now saying, oh well, why be Shane's come out and made and said he wasn't sure what was going on. Well, I guess it's possible. If you didn't know what was going on and then. I think that's Cap anyway, because are you telling me Shane didn't see his dad rubbing up next man's head, right? So you knew your dad was doing way too much, right? Don't tell me you didn't see your dad causing the problems with his head. He head heavy. That big old egg head, big old meat head he got. He trying to put it everywhere, yeah? Because he knows he can't throw the hands. That's what we do know about John Fury. And you've only got to watch a few clips on YouTube to know John has to use his head because his hands are no good, right? You couldn't throw them because they're too slow, too slow, no power. So you go with the head. They're the lads who the family should be proud of because they're very good lads, mate. And listen, I like Tyson Fury as well. He might not like me, but I like him. And uh, made the best man win on Saturday night, to be honest. Just a quick one time before we move on from that. Do you think it's a good thing for boxing? No, it's not. It's embarrassing. If my father behaved like that at a press conference, I would put him straight and tell him it's embarrassing. And it can't mm. be happening, mate. It's a really bad look for boxing. I'm actually surprised it's been allowed to go on and happen mm -hmm. in a place where they're at, to be honest. Mm -hmm. uh, but it is what it is, mate. It's a walk and talk and liability. And understand, mate, not everyone's going to put up with that. Listen, that tells me that you're incredibly frustrated and maybe upset about... I've never swore on your show before, so I'm, I'm really apologise. I'm sorry, but it infuriates me to drag our sport to the places that it gets to. Now, I've done some silly things at weigh-ins, at press con. That's because I've been attacked. I have never been the one who attacks first. You come at me and attack me in any way, shape or form, believe you me, I will take drastic action of my own. Hey. And that's just the way. And I'm not some big hmm. case, by the way. I'm just a normal fella who lives a normal, everyday life. No one's ever going to put it on me and get away with it. Normal fella? Yeah, and, and, a, and a former champion <laughs> as well. Yeah, I am, mate. I'll have to call out John Fiori, mate. I've achieved more within 60 seconds of my boxing career than John Fiori's ever achieved in his life. He could not even be spoken about in the same breath as me. Now, I never pick myself up, ever. But when it comes and competes and compares to the likes of John Fiori, listen, mate, just because something shot out of your nuts and became one of the greatest heavyweights in this world, it does not mean you can validate your opinion on every other fighter possible. You have not got the first clue or idea what it's like to be a championship-minded fighter. Mm -hmm. You got your ass absolutely handed to you off Henry Akin one day. Oh. Get a grip of yourself. Now, I'm trying to be as nice and respectful as I can, oh. but he just needs to keep my name out of his mouth. Oh, no. Tony Ballou coming with the respectful bars. Respectfully, John. The Black Skellington. You know what? I'm going to do it right now. I'm tired of people asking me. Yeah, John Fury versus Henry. Back in one day. I don't really want to play the footage because YouTube is moving mad these times, but you get the point here. Let's let's just call a spare spade here, yeah? Let's not play the footage. You man can find it. It's not hard. Tyson Fury dad, John Fury versus Akin one day, the Black Skellington. This cat here, the Black Skellington. Yeah? The Black S K E L L I N G T O N. Yeah? Come on, this moody internet doing killing me right now. You know what I'm saying? Look, so here's John. Clearly John Fury here. And he sent a lie. If you can't work out that's John Fury, then you need help. That's John. Yeah? John Fury in there. He having a go. He having a good old go. Look at him, look, having a good old go. Go on, John, have a go, mate. Have a go, John. Have a go, John. Oh, where'd John go? John, wait. You know what? Let's play this bit here. Let's see what happened here. I'm intrigued. I, I forgot. I ain't gonna lie. The YB for listen. The YB forgot what happened here. Let's in, let's investigate this because Tony Ballou made a claim. John, you got sparked up by the Black Skellington. I don't believe it. I believe John Fury is the best bare knuckle man in the last thousand years. He never lost a fight. He said. He said he never lost a fight. So I'm intrigued now. Let's see what happened to the best bare knuckle in the world. Yeah, who never lost a fight. Go on, John. The rate of exchange is very much against oh. Fury, and that was a good... Oh. 
not John. Not John. I'm not John. I didn't even see what happened. I'm gonna have to slow this down right quick. Because again, Tony Ballou brought this to my attention. I forgot about this, truth be known. Yeah? All I remember is John telling me how he undefeated. And he bare knuckle and he a thousand years of raw fighting GNA, DNA. Go on, John. The Go rate on, John. of exchange Go on, John. is very much against oh, he sleep. Fury and that's Oh, he sleeps somewhere. Oh! Oh! What's John, 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 John! Oh my god, the best bare knuckle. Go on, bare knuckle. Go on. The rate Go on, John. Slip it. Go on, John. Oh, John sleep. Oh, John sleep. <laughs> I keep one day falling backwards. That's a fact. Nothing to do with me. I can watch. What? Anyway, forget about John for now. As hard as it is to see John's big ass drop to the floor, ignore that for a second. I want you to focus on this cat here, the Black Skellington. Yeah, just watch him in this exchange. He's going backwards. <laughs> That's just what happened. Watch this. He off balance. Watch, watch, watch. I can wonder now. Watch, watch, watch. The rate of exchange watch, watch, watch. is very I can wonder going backwards. Look, he's stumbling. He's going back. Oh. I can wonder. Again, you can't even see what lands. It's a range finder at best. He's he moving backwards. Yeah? Right John slips. He slips the right hand. Very much. Look, at this point, Aki Wanda, he leaning backwards. Uh, I didn't see nothing land, that's the truth. Again. Oh, no, and John's in a big old heap. A big old heap as well. We've all seen people knocked out before. And this guy, he in a heap. Look, he's still on the floor. He been on the floor. Oh, not John. Oh my God, he's he goes lower to the floor. He gets down. He just the life out. He gives up. He don't want no more. Yeah. Oh my God. Maybe about. We need to get the people. I told you the other day. It's a medical marvel. Yeah, the marvel of modern medical techniques is the reason John threw with us today. That's just what it is. Yeah. Without the marvel of modern medicine, this cat wouldn't be with us. That's a fact. Yeah, he was not able to breathe for himself for days after this fight. He on a ventilator. Yeah, he on full life support after this fight. There's nothing bare knuckle about this. There's nothing undefeated about this. And no way be you never been in the ring. I also never claimed. I'm unbeaten and I can't be touched and I'm the best bare knuckle. John, if you was the best bare knuckle, you would not be knocked spark out. By a rangefinder falling backwards. This wouldn't happen. It's not. It's impossible. Yeah? Bare knuckle. Anyone bare knuckle hits John there, he goes to sleep. Fact. Never mind if they're falling backwards or not. That makes sense. Imagine someone planted, letting a shot off. He goes to sleep. He's not taking the shot. Yeah? That's a fact. So, that's the reference that Tony Ballou was alluding to. Yeah, John, you ain't what you talk, what you say you are. You are... A predator. Yeah? You found a dude who was... There was only one dude there. There was only one dude in that room who was 10 stone soaking wet, 5 foot 4 tall, and 15 years old. And you found him and stuck it on him. That is the caliber of John Fury. Yeah? Shocking. Woeful. Predatory. Anyway, people, let me know your thoughts. Smash the like button, subscribe, like up the bell. 100% no doubt about it. Stop it.